Hi friends, this is the math lesson for second grade. This is unit four, lesson 20. We will be working on pages 207 all the way to 210 today. Um, we are actually going to start with on number 13, which is on the back of 210. So we're going to start with our puzzle penguin, then we're going to jump around a little bit. So go ahead, turn to page 210, and check out our poor friend, Puzzled Penguin. So we um, have a word problem here. It says Sonia has 63 balloons. That is 16 more than Molly. How many balloons does Molly have? So I want you to look carefully at what Puzzle Penguin did. Puzzle Penguin says, okay, Sonia has 63. Um, she gets 16 more. And that equals what Molly has of 79. Is that what the problem said? No. It's not. So our question wants us to draw comparison bars to help Puzzled Penguin. So I'm going to draw mine over here. You can go ahead and draw yours as well. And we need to look back at who has more so we can add our little letters right here. So we know that Sonia has 63, which is 16 more than Molly. So that tells us that Sonia is going to go on top and Molly is going to go on the bottom. I know that Sonia has 63, so that goes in her box. And I see 16 more right there. So I know that whenever there's a more or a fewer, it goes in the oval. So here's my 16, there's my question mark, and now we can solve. So Puzzle Penguin found the total, but we know our total. We are looking for a partner. So you can solve it by doing the adding up method, or you can turn it into subtraction and solve. So go ahead, pause the video and solve for Molly. All right, let's see how you did. I can't do three minus six, so I go next door, cross off the six, change it to a five, and bring back 10. 13 minus six is seven, and five minus one is four for an answer of 47 balloons for Miss Molly. Sorry, Puzzle Penguin, better luck next time. All right. We are going to finish this page. You have three adding problems and three subtraction problems. I would like you to pause the video and solve all six of these problems. All right, friends, go ahead, check your answers. Make sure that you have all of your new groups on the adding ones. And each one of our subtraction ones did involve some type of ungrouping. So go ahead, double check those answers. You can pause the video. All right, now we're gonna go back to page 207. We have three pages of word problems to solve. We are going to solve the first eight together, and then you're going to do the last four on your own. If you are feeling confident and comfortable, you may solve all of these problems on your own. And if you get stuck, you can always come back to the video, but at the very end, I will show you each page with its answers. All right, let's get going. So our directions say to make a drawing, write an equation, and solve. So you must use some type of drawing. The drawing could include a math mountain. The drawing could also be comparison bars if that is appropriate. All right, Maxine cuts out 48 squares to make a quilt. She needs 16 more squares to complete the quilt. How many squares will be in the quilt all together? So I see this word all together and that tells me that I need to add. So I have 48 plus 16 
And that will give me a total of, let's solve, 8 plus 6 is 14. There's your new group. 1 plus 4 plus 1 more is 6. So we get an answer of 64 squares. Again, at any time, if you want to try some on your own, you may always pause the video and go for it. Now, I did not draw my picture, so I'm going to draw a math mountain for this one. I know that my total goes on top and both my partners go on the bottom. All right, moving on to number two. Mr. Adams buys 93 paper plates for a party. He buys 43 large plates and the rest are small. How many small plates does he buy? So in this problem, I know that Mr. Adams has plates, right? He has large and he has small. I'm trying to figure out how many small plates does he have? So that's telling me I'm missing a partner. So if I were to draw my math mountain, I know I have one box down there. There's my other partner, and here is my total. Now, when you're missing a total, you can, or you're missing a partner, excuse me, you can either do subtraction or you can do adding up method. I'm actually going to do the adding up method this time, but you could also do subtraction of 93 minus 43. And for the adding up method, I know that 43 is pretty far away from 93. So I'm going to add 20 to get 63. I'm going to add 20 more to get 83. And now I can add just 10 more to get 93. I made it to where my goal was. Now I can add these middle ones up and get a total of 50 small plates. Maybe subtraction would have been easier on that one. 3 minus 3 is 0 and 9 minus 4 is 5. But either way is fine and they are both good practice. Okay. Number three, Chad collects stamps. He has 32 stamps. Lauren gives him some more stamps, and now Chad has 51 stamps. How many stamps did Lauren give Chad? Now, this might sound like a comparison bar problem, but it is actually not. Only because Lauren doesn't have the stamps. So Lauren has stamps, but he gives them to Chad. So we're really just looking at how many does, is, in the, um, how do I say this? How many Chad is getting, okay? If it said like Lauren had 20 more stamps than Chad, then that would be a comparison bar. So I know that Chad has 32 stamps. Lauren gives him some more and now he has 51. So this problem is definitely set up for the adding up method if you prefer, or you know that we're missing a partner, so that means that we could also subtract to solve this problem. I'm going to subtract this time. You do whatever method you prefer. I can't do one take away two, so I go next door, cross off the five, change it to a four, and bring back 10. 11 take away two is nine, and four take away three is one. So we get an answer of 19 stamps. Okay. Last problem on this page. So Trina's team scores 56 points at the basketball game. This is 30 more points than the other team scores. How many points did the other team score? So we just talked about comparison bars. This is a comparison bar problem because we know one team has 56 points. We are trying to figure out how much the other team scored. So that means that both of these teams have the points, right? So 
Get your comparison bars ready. If you need to pause the video, go ahead. Now we're gonna call it Trina's team and other team. So we're gonna do TT and OT for our letters. And we need to label our comparison bars. So we know that Trina's team scores 56 points at the basketball game, which is 30 more than the other team. So Trina's team, TT, goes on top, and OT, the other team, goes on the bottom. I know that Trina's team did indeed score 56, so that's exactly how many they have, and that this is 30 more, so because that 30 is attached to the more than the, it goes in the oval and the question mark goes in the T or the OT. Now, again, just like a math mountain, we're missing a partner. So you can choose if you want to do the adding up method or you can choose to do subtraction. I'm going to do subtraction. 6 minus 0 is 6, and 5 minus two, 3 is 2. So the other team scored 26 points. All right, let's keep on moving. We are on page 208. These are going to be the last four problems that we do together, and then you are going to try page 209 on your own. So, Mora gives 19 trading cards to Jim. Now she has 28 or 24 trading cards. How many trading cards did she have to start? And I want you to pay close attention to that word start. This is an unknown start. I'm going to start by drawing my box. I know that it's an unknown start because I'm trying to figure out how many did she start with. But now I know that she gives away 19. So from my box, I'm going to give away 19. And then I know that she has 24 left. So you should remember what I always say. You can never solve a problem a subtraction problem that starts with a box, right? So we are going to switch this to adding because this is actually the missing total. So I'm going to say 19 plus 24 equals box. Now there's only one way to solve this. Everyone is going to add. So 24 plus 19. 4 plus 9 is 13, new group, 1 plus 2 plus 1 is 43. Now, I forgot to draw my picture. So I'm going to draw a math mountain. And for me, it's kind of hard to see what I'm, which is, which number goes where for my math mountain. So I'm going to use this equation. It would still be the same. So I know that my total goes on top, and I have 19 and 24. So we have 43, and our label is trading cards, not just trading, trading cars. All right, number six, Jamal has 63 toy cars. Luis has 24 fewer toy cars than Jamal. How many toy cars does Luis have? So here I see two people, and they both have the toy cars. So, and I also see the word fewer. So that tells me that this is a comparison bar problem. So go ahead and get your comparison bars ready. I have Jamal and Luis. So it says Jamal is 63. Luis has 24 fewer. So that tells me that Luis has less than Jamal. And now I can fill in my numbers. It says Jamal is 63. So where does that 63 go? That one goes right here in this rectangle. And 24 fewer, 24 is attached to fewer, so it goes in the oval. 
And now we can solve for our missing partner. Of course, you can do the adding up method. Or you can do subtraction. I'm going to do subtraction today. So 3 minus 4, can't do it. Go next door, cross off the 6, change it to a 5, and bring back 10. 13 minus 4 is 9, and 5 minus 2 is 3. We get an answer of 39 toy cars. All right, two more to go. All right, friends, so number seven is looks a little weird. Let's read it and see what's going on. So we have Anna has some red balloons and some blue balloons. All together, she has 46 balloons. How many balloons of each color could she have? Now, if we were to draw a picture, we know that all together, she has 46 balloons, right? So that's going to go on top. Now, this picture is kind of weird because she has some red and some blue. Now, normally we wouldn't be able to solve this, but what this question is asking you to do is just come up with two numbers that equal 46. Can be any two numbers. Now, the only thing that it can't be is zero and 46 because she has some red and some blue. But other than that, it can be any combination. Go ahead and pause the video and see what you come up with. So maybe you did some doubles. Maybe you said that she has 23 red balloons and 23 blue balloons. Maybe you said that she has one red and 45 blue. Maybe you said that she has 20 red and 26 blue. It can be any combination of numbers as long as it's not zero for either one. That equals 46. Whatever you do choose, make sure you write an equation with it. So if I were doing this, I would probably do a doubles of 23 and 23. Whoops. And so this would be my equation. Kind of a silly problem, but it makes you think. Okay, and finally, number eight. John has 71 stickers. Ken has 53 stickers. How many fewer stickers does Ken have than John? Okay, again, we have two people. They both have stickers, and I see the word fewer. So I'm going to draw comparison bars. And I know I have Ken and John. So it says John is 71, Ken is 53. So that tells me that John has more. And John has 71. Ken has 53, and I'm trying to figure out the change. What, how many fewer does Ken have? So I'm missing a partner. I can do 71 minus 53, or I can do 53 plus something equals 71. Either way, you will get the answer of 18. So Ken has 18 fewer stickers than John. All right, my friends, you have four problems left to do. Now, please remember that it is your job to work on these problems and check your answers when you are done. You are still making a drawing and writing an equation and then solving. Once you finish all four problems, go ahead and press play on the video to check your answers. If you get something wrong, that's okay, but make sure you know what you did wrong so you can learn from it. If you don't know what you did wrong, log on to Zoom and I will help you. So pa press pause and then press play when you're ready to check your answers.
All right, friends. So number nine is 60 color pencils, missing a total there. Number 10 is actually a comparison bar problem, but you could also not use comparison bars, but you get 14 more spoons. Number 11 is 76 shells, missing a partner. And finally, number 12 is 39 beads. If you need to check your answers for the other pages, here is page 207. Number one is 64 squares, number two is 50 small plates, number three, 19 stamps, and number four, 26 points. And page 208, number five is 43 trading cards, number six is 39 toy cards, number seven can be any two numbers, as long as it's not zero, that add up to 46, and number eight, is 18 fewer stickers. All right, my friends, I know this was a long lesson, but we gotta keep practicing those word problems for our upcoming test. Great job, we'll see you later.